morning students today subject is history today we are going to learn about the topic the arab and turkish invasions students next you learn the aim what is the aim of the concert why mahmud of ghazni raided the northern regions of india and explain why Muhammad of Goa invaded the Indian subcontinent. Students, can you think about the A? Did you know? Yes. Mahmud of Ghazni in Afghanistan. The most outstanding ruler was the Turkish ruler Mahmud, the son of a Turkish noble. It was his dream to establish a vast and strong empire in Central Asia. For this, he needed a strong army and thus needed resources to maintain this army. He began to raid Indian temples and palaces for their wealth. And then next, he did this up to 17 times from 1000 to 1025 AD was then occupied by many powerful tribes such as the Khans, Turks and Mongols. Some of the descendants still live in tribes and clans on the borders of Afghanistan. Students, I asking one question, listen carefully. Okay, which region was raided by Mahmud of Ghazni? Did you know students? Yes, he first attacked the regions in Punjab and then next he later raided the rich temple cities of India. He subsequently raided the rich temple cities of India like Nagarka, Nagarkot, Dhaneshwar, Madura, Ujjain, Gwalia and Kanuj, leaving these regions in Uttar ruins. These also the regions of raided by Mahmud of Ghazni. Students, next you learn the Mahmud of Ghor. In 1173 AD, Mahmud of Ghor captured Ghazni. He dreamed of creating a large empire for himself in Central Asia. So, however, he was too weak a ruler to rule over this entire region. Thus, he turned his attention toward India as he knew India was land immense resources. In 1191 AD, he invaded India and captured the regions of Punjab and Moulton. He made Punjab his base from where he planned his attack on Delhi and soon defeated the Chandala rulers as he tried to enter further eastward. He made stiff resistance from the Rajput rulers under the leadership of Prithviraj Chauhan. This led to a conflict known as the Patila terrain at a place near Delhi. Mughmadav defeated and was forced to re retreat. Prithviraj captured Badinda which was occupied by Mughmadav Ghazni. However, in 1192 AD, he came back better organized and defeated Prithviraj Chauhan. In the Second Battle of Terrain. Students, 
next you learn the keywords today keywords are rights consecutively and principality students what is the meaning of rights rights is attack and then second keywords are consecutively what is the meaning one after another without interruption in unbroken or logical sequence and then third keywords are principality what is the meaning of principality a state ruled by a prince students next you see the pictures what can you identify the pictures did you know students yes he was the one of the outstanding ruler of afghanistan so he was a strong army and strong empire in central asia because he needed resources to maintain this army students next you learn the accent part what makes a region attractive to invaders and when we find a road black to a certain route what do we do can you think about the question students yes again one time read the question student listen carefully what makes a region attractive to invaders did you know yes the resources available in a region and its wealth may attract invaders and then next question when we find a road black to a certain route what do we do did you know yes whenever there is a road black we often take a different route to reach our distinct destination similarly if we face some obstacle to our goals we may be forced to take a different route to achieve them students next you see the picture what can you identify the picture did you know yes this picture is mahmud of gor mahmud of gor captured ghazni he dreamt of creating a large empire for himself in central asia however he was to weak a ruler to rule over this entire region students next you learn the analysis part who was mahmud did you know students mahmud was the ruler of a small principality called ghazni in afghanistan and then next question which regions in india did he invade did you know yes he mostly raided rich regions and temple towns such as madura daneswar ujjain kanuj and somnath in northern india students i asking some question who was muhammad muhammad was the ruler of a small principality called gor in afghanistan he captured ghazni in afghanistan and punjab and molten regions in the indian subcontinent what were the result of the first battle of terrain and second battle of terrain muhammad of gor challenged in the first battle of terrain and defeated him with the help of the other rajput rulers however muhammad returned better prepared in the following year of 1192 ad prithviraj chauhan was captured and killed in the second battle of terrain 
students finally you learn the higher order thinking how was the invasion of muhammad of ghor different from that of muhammad of ghazni did you know students yes muhammad of ghor invaded the regions in india to establish his control here as he was and successful in expanding his control in central asia and muhammad of ghazni was interested in acquiring wealth of indian temples and palaces to expand his empire in central asia so the different of the muhammad of ghor and ghazni achievements thank you students you observing the video and complete the or see